In every sport, there is a topic that has caused never-ending debates in sports bars, living rooms, and arenas worldwide for decades. Who is the greatest of all time? In basketball, there's LeBron James versus Michael Jordan. In soccer, there's Cristiano Ronaldo versus Lionel Messi. But when it comes to the elegant sport of hockey, there is no need for debate, as there is one name that stands head and shoulders above the rest, Wayne Gretzky known far and wide as the Great One. But before we dig into the greatness that is Gretzky and crown him as the undisputed GOAT, let's take a moment to appreciate the man behind the legend. Born on January 26, 1961, in Brantford, Ontario, Canada, Wayne Gretzky was destined for greatness from the moment he laced up his skates. From a young age, he displayed an unparalleled talent for hockey, and he quickly rose through the ranks of junior and professional leagues. His path to hockey immortality was paved with sweat, skill, and a passion that could melt the ice. The guy wasn't just good, he was on a whole different level. Gritzi's career spanned over two decades, during which he graced several NHL teams with his presence. However, when we think of Gretzky, it's the Edmonton Oilers where he forged his legacy, capturing four Stanley Cups, and the Los Angeles Kings where he became a true hockey ambassador. Then brief stints with the St. Louis Blues and the New York Rangers capped off his extraordinary journey before hanging up the skates in 1999. One of the most compelling arguments for Wayne Gretzky's greatness is his unmatched scoring prowess. Let's dive headfirst into the jaw-dropping realm of Gretzky's scoring records. When it comes to the world of hockey, these aren't just records, they're Mount Everest. They're monuments in the hockey pantheon. First and foremost, let's talk about his all-time leading scorer status. Wayne Gretzky stands at the summit of NHL scorers with an unfathomable 2,857 career points. To put this in perspective, Yarmir Yager, the player in second place, trails by over 900 points. Think about that for a second. But the jaw-dropping moments don't stop there. During the 1981-82 season, Gretzky did the unthinkable he notched 50 goals in just 39 games. That's a record that's still standing tall today, like a colossus in the history books. And when it comes to dishing out the assists, Gretzky was an absolute wizard. His playmaking abilities were second to none. In the 1985-86 season, he piled up a mind-boggling 163 assists in a single season. That's a record that may never be broken, as it's more helpers than most players can even dream of achieving in a career. And let's not forget about consistency. He amassed 15 seasons with over 100 points. He showcased his dominance over an extended period. In fact, that's so amazing that calling it just dominance seems like an understatement. That's a dynasty. When it comes to awards, his trophy case is adorned with quite a few of them. And he didn't just win the Hart Trophy as the league's most valuable player once or twice. No, he snatched that honor an astounding nine times. That's nine times more than most players can even imagine. He easily solidified his status as the most dominant player of his era. But Wayne Gretzky's greatness transcends numbers. He wasn't all about just scoring goals. He revolutionized the game of hockey by how he played and changed it forever. Gretzky had a hockey IQ that was off the charts. He didn't just skate, he orchestrated symphonies on the ice. His vision was otherworldly, like he had eyes in the back of his head. He wasn't just a player, he was a conductor of the game. His ability to read the game and anticipate plays was unparalleled. He had a sixth sense, a Gretzky sense. It was like he had a crystal ball on a stick. He was the master of anticipation seeing plays unfold before anyone else even had a clue. He made defenders look like amateurs, and coaches had to rethink their entire strategy just to contain him. In fact, before the 1985-86 season, the NHL Board of Governors had to introduce the infamous Gretzky Rule, a rule designed to curtail his scoring exploits. His exceptional skills often pushed the boundaries of what was possible. Coaches and teams around the league adapted their strategies to counter Gretzky's influence, which in turn led to the development of more dynamic offensive systems. He changed how hockey was played, plain and simple. 
And when you change the rules of the game because you're too good, that's when you know you're the greatest. But let's talk longevity. Anybody can have a hot streak, but Gretzky had more than a hot streak. He had a career-long inferno. He was a scoring machine for over a decade. He rattled off an incredible 13 consecutive seasons with over 100 points. Think about that level of consistency, year in and year out. He was an offensive juggernaut. And let's not forget his durability. He played a staggering 1,487 regular season games, proving that he wasn't just a flash in the pan. Even in his late 30s, he was posting numbers that could make today's young guns jealous. In his final season at the age of 38, he tallied 62 points, demonstrating that he could still compete at a high level. But Gretzky's greatness wasn't just about scoring goals and other on-ice heroics. It was about how he conducted himself on and off the ice. He was the epitome of leadership and sportsmanship. Gretzky was a role model in every sense of the word. Gretzky led by example. He worked harder than anyone else, game in and game out. He wasn't just a captain. He was a mentor to his teammates, pushing them to reach new heights. And he always put the team above personal glory. It didn't matter if he scored or set up a goal. What mattered was the win. And let's not forget the respect he had for the game. Even with all those records, he stayed humble. He knew the game was bigger than any one player. Gretzky understood that hockey wasn't just a sport. It was a tradition. He paid tribute to those who came before him and ensured that the sport's legacy was carried forward with honor. This mindset and attitude endeared him to fans, players, and coaches alike. That's the kind of guy you want your kids looking up to. But here's the thing. Gretzky's impact didn't end at the rink. It extended off the ice. He was an ambassador for the sport, a beacon that shone the light of hockey across the globe. He's been a positive force in the hockey community and has contributed to the growth of the sport. He wasn't just a superstar. He was a philanthropist, making substantial contributions to charitable causes like children's hospitals and cancer research. He wasn't content with just being great. He wanted to make the world a better place. And then there's his role as a mentor and coach for young players. Gretzky shared his knowledge and passion for the game with the next generation. He wasn't just a player. He was a custodian of the sport's future. Now let's talk legacy. Wayne Gretzky isn't just a name. He's a symbol of hockey greatness, an enduring icon and a living legend. His name is synonymous with hockey greatness. His legacy isn't measured solely in records. It's measured in the inspiration he provides. He remains an iconic figure in the sport, even years after his retirement. Kids from all corners of the globe look up to Gretzky as a model of excellence and aspire to achieve even a fraction of his success. He's not just a player from the past. He's a blueprint for the future. And let's be real. Some of those records he set, some of them may as well be carved in stone. We're talking about records that might never, ever be surpassed. They're not just impressive, they're nearly mythical in their stature. Even considering just those achievements alone, Gretzky's place is solidified in hockey history. Now, let's address how some people like to throw other legends like Bobby Orr, Gordie Howe, or Mario Lemieux into the greatest of all time conversation. And those opinions can be respected and are understandable. They were all incredible players in their own right. Bobby Orr was undoubtedly one of the greatest defensemen in NHL history. He redefined the role of defenseman, transforming it into an offensive position. He is famously the only defenseman to lead the league in scoring, which he did twice. But unfortunately, injuries cut his career short. Gretzky's longevity gives him an edge over Orr in the GOAT debate. Gordie Howe was endearingly known as Mr. Hockey. He was a beast during his time, with opponents and teammates alike saying that his strength was so overpowering that he could send others flying across the ice if he wanted to. He also boasts an unbelievable career and is an enduring legend. But when it comes to sheer offensive dominance, Gretzky's records set him apart from Howe. Mario Lemieux was a fantastic player, an absolute wizard with the puck. He possessed a unique combination of skills that allowed him to control the pace of the incredibly fast game of hockey. But health issues often limited him. 
he was never able to play a full season. This kept him from challenging Gretzky's reign of dominance. In conclusion, Wayne Gretzky isn't just the greatest hockey player of all time. He's the embodiment of the sport's essence. He's a symbol of excellence, leadership, and sportsmanship. His records, his style, his influence, they're stuff of legend. Undeniably, he is the GOAT. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more content just like this.